So in this video, I thought I'd tell you about my private class that I have uh, here in Austin that I teach. It's a six-day course, and I've never done a video uh, explaining what it's all about. So I thought I'd just do this short little video, uh, you know, letting you guys know uh, what my private class is and, and, and what you can expect to learn uh, if you happen to take my private class. Um, before I get into that, I just want to quickly tell you that I have a video coming out later this week or early next week at the latest on painting reflective surfaces, which is another demonstration in my series. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. But uh, so let me tell you about this private class. Um, I used to have a uh, teach a 10 day, uh, rather a 10 person workshop with 10 people in it. And we had and I would teach uh, and, and, you know, 10 people at the same time and walk around the room and help, you know, 10 different students. And that was really not my cup of tea. It was a little too much for me. I'm, I'm more of an introvert and I do more. I do better one on one or in small, you know, much smaller groups. So that was something that um, I think was was very successful, but it was just something that was a little to uh, demanding of my time and, and everything else. So, so I've changed and started teaching these private classes, which I very much enjoy doing. Um, I think I'll probably keep doing these for the foreseeable future. Um, but in these classes, I'm able to work one-on-one -on -one with somebody. Sometimes I teach two people in, in one class. Um, and that allows me, working one-on-one, -on -one, to give that person the attention they need to take the course in the direction that it should go. You know, everybody's different. Everybody, some people that take my class have never painted a painting before. Most of the people that take my class do not have a lot of experience. Um, I have professionals take my class, or people who have even careers and, and doing well as artists come and take my class from all over the world. Um, but basically, every class is tailored for the individual. In fact, um, you know, I offer three classes. One is a still life course, one is the uh, portrait course, and then one is um, the sergeant class, where, where we copy a sergeant painting and, and learn from that. Um, and, but in addition to that, within each one of those classes, we can go in any direction. So at, or even it's completely separate. I've had some people do landscapes. In, in my class. So it can really be a six day course that is really just to um, give you the instruction you need. But the core of the course, and it's the thing that's, you know, I tell everybody on day one is the only thing that I can really teach you, you know, I can teach you a lot of helpful hints and, you know, all kinds of little tips and tricks and everything else. But the core of the class is to learn the four workflows that I teach. And so the four workflows are how to draw, how to mix your colors, how to look, cover the canvas with paint, and then the last one is how to fix it once you've covered the canvas with paint. And so what I tell my students is, is that the one thing that they can expect to learn from this course and is for to learn those four workflows, learn how to do them, how to do them properly, and then they should be able to take that home to their own studio without me helping them and repeat those workflows. So I'm less concerned about the uh, you know having a finished polished painting as I am going home and knowing with confidence that you can do all four of those workflows, um, do them you know without taking shortcuts, do them properly, and do them without my help, without me being there. And I feel confident that all of my students are able to do that when they leave. In fact, it's uh, you know really something that I try to make sure that when they leave my class, they can repeat those four workflows on their own. And then doing those workflows and, and doing you know, still lifes or, or, or whatever, portraits, landscapes, using that workflow over the long term, that is what is going to teach you to paint and is going to be able to teach you to see color, to be able to mix color, to be able to draw in proportion accurately and everything else. So it is these workflows that eventually teach you to see like an artist, to be able to draw even freehand and to paint anything you want. Um, now, as far as, um, you know, the other thing that happens uh, with my private classes, that not with everybody, but most people, um, they, they're, they're somewhat anxious about taking the class. They're somewhat, um, you know, unsure about whether they can succeed, nervous, everything else. So I always try to set their uh, mind at ease on day one and let them know that it's up to me to teach them that they, they don't have to worry about a thing, that I'm going to walk them through everything, and that anybody can do it. 
now, as far as the results go and the success, um, you know, I could sit here and tell you all day that all my students, almost all, there are a few people that, that simply don't want to do my method or, or you know, uh, don't, aren't the type of person that can sit there and work for hours or whatever it is. There are some people that, that don't succeed, but the vast majority of people, 95%, of the people that take my class succeed with it. And what I mean by that is even if they've never painted before, never painted a single painting, their first painting that they do in, the, in my class will be a, be a big success. Now, I could say that all day and you may not believe me, but I do have some evidence of that and I wanna show it to you. It's something, a video that, I, that doesn't get a lot of views, but so here's, here's what I did. Back when, we, when I first started teaching classes in Austin and it was a 10-person workshop, um, the first class that I taught here in Austin, um, I asked everybody if, I, if they would allow me to film it. There were a few people that, that would rather not be on YouTube. And so I did not film my first class. The second class, I asked everybody again if they would be willing to let me film. And the second class, there were actually only nine people. I think one person wasn't able to come. But those nine people all agreed that I could film the class, and so I filmed and documented this one class. It wasn't cherry-picked from a bunch of classes. I didn't pick the one where people were successful. It was simply that it was the second class that I taught. They happened to all agree that I could film it, and so I filmed it. And that video is going to be, uh, a link to it is in the description of this video. And it's called Scenes from a Workshop. And what I want you to do is if you watch that video, if you go to the end, I show all nine um, students' paintings. And I think every one of them was successful. Um, and three of those people that took that class had never painted before. And so, and, and those paintings are noted, you know, at the end of that video. So go watch that video, take a look at the paintings, and every one of those paintings was painted from life, from a little still life in a shadow box. And um, so I, th I thought if you go look at that, you can sort of see, uh, give you a good example of the type of, uh, the quality of work that my students are able to produce after taking uh, my class. So I hope that's helpful. Um, here is the, the, the studio that, my, that I teach the class in, which you have seen actually in the video I just produced. Um, and my studio is just right next door to it. And so I'm there throughout the week uh, for the student. And uh, anyway, I guess that's all I have to say. But I thought I would just let you guys know what my class is all about. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. And by the way, I have my own art supply company right here in Austin, Texas, and we manufacture all of our own products. We have a whole line of paint and brush holders, palettes, color checkers, all sorts of things. So go check that out if you haven't at GenevaFineArt.com.